Hello. Hello. Good evening. My goodness. Hello, Yolanda. How are you? Today? Hello. Good, Good evening. evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening, all of you. Sorry, it, uh, my Zoom didn't work. There was no traffic between the living room and uh, the bedroom today, so it was my computer. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, the, let's uh, let's talk about. Yesterday we were talking about uh, something very important. Uh, we were talking about uh, how we can compare things. Yes, uh, how we can compare things and how we can uh, refer to one thing that is better than the other ones, the, the rest of them. So we, we will continue with that. Uh, and I'm going to give you the rules uh, to use the co comparatives um, uh, and how, how do you compare things, uh, Oscar? If you want to compare something, one thing with another thing, how do you compare them? Um, um, I don't know what is the answer. Okay. Uh, uh, what do you mean? Excuse me. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the answers. I'm just trying to see where we are, uh, where we are standing with uh, comparative and superlatives. So my question was. Uh, at, uh, for to make a comparison, to compare two things, how do you compare them? What do you use to make the comparison? Uh, for example, uh, with the word more, uh, what is more expensive than the other or, or or what is the what what is the what is better? Okay. Uh, using some words for compare. Okay, okay, very good, Yolanda. Thank you. Oscar. Uh, I don't know, teacher. I mean, I think we use uh, adjectives. Adjectives. To compare uh -huh. one thing uh -huh, for with example? other with other thing. Uh huh. For example, uh, small small. A uh, high, the uh, best, or I don't know, okay. or deep. Okay, okay. So in in case that we want to compare people or things, right? People or things, whatever we want to compare. Um, we sometimes we use uh, comparatives uh, and superlatives, adjectives. That is what we're gonna be learning tonight. Um, we're gonna be learning about. Uh, uh, comparative and superlatives. Each of them, they have a um, special uh, way to compare things, and we're gonna um, we're gonna take a look at uh, each of the, those ways. Okay, so if we want to, um, we use comparative. We use comparative, adjective, adjective and superlative. Objectives to say to say how people or things are different. Hmm. Okay, so that's what we do. We use a comparative and superlative objectives. But that's what we're going to be um, talking about uh, tonight. About the comparative and superlative adjectives. And we're going to be talking about their rules and how to form the superlative and comparative adjectives. Okay? An animal sticker. I'm sorry? An animals. <laughs> An animal, people, yes. People, animals, or things. Yes, uh -huh. we can say people, animals, yes. We can put animals, no problem. Animals, uh -huh. or things, yes. Uh -huh. We can pair them. And as a matter of fact, uh, I have uh, animals that we're going to be comparing to, uh, you know, to that. Uh, so... This is superlative and comparative. We're going to take a look at uh, comparative um, superlative first, okay? 
So we use um, we use a comparative um, adjectives. adjectives to express how people people how people and you say the places in this case places because we were talking about places yesterday remember uh, we were talking about uh, islands uh, waterfalls uh, what else <laughs> Countries. Not countries. Yesterday we were not talking about countries. We talk about mountains, uh, mountains, rivers. What else? Lakes. Lakes. Yes, uh -huh. What else? Um, Restaurant house. No, yesterday we were talking about. Uh, remember, we were talking about the. Uh, okay, yes. Beans, no. Okay. Dessert, dessert. Dessert. Forest. Esperemos que se, por favor, por favor, apaguen el micrófono para poder hablar. Beach. Yes, we're talking about beach, um, lake, ocean, mountain, river, valley, volcano, waterfall. Eso. We're going to be using those ones to com make comparison, compare one thing to another. So in that case, it will be places, right? Places. Or, or things. Yeah, or things. Cualquier cosa. Um, and so we use comparative object uh, objectives to express how to how to because this is going to be between two this is the difference between uh, uh, comparative objectives and superlative objectives we use comparative objectives to express how two people two places or two things are are different Okay, so we use comparative objectives to express how two people, places, or thing, things are different. Yes? Are we, sure. Yes? Uh, I don't know if Ada Gabriela puede apagar su micrófono porque se escucha muy mal. Sí, ya, ya, le, ya le pregunté si podía. Ok, muy bien. Thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so um, we're going to use these words to compare two, two things. And uh, so the other one will be we use, um, we, we use superlative adjectives to do what? What do you think we use superlative adjectives to? Uh, for for the things are uh, the th uh, the better things or the best person so, in so, something uh -huh. something like that. So it would be to compare. Yes, to compare one thing against the rest, against the rest 
the rest of all. Yeah. So we use superlative adjectives to compare one thing against the rest of all. Okay. Um, in the uno hacia los demás, ¿verdad? El otro comparative adjectives es para comparar uno con otro. El superlative adjective es para comparar uno contra todos. Yeah. Okay, so in, in the case that if we have three animals, we have a dog, we have a horse, and we have an elephant. How can we compare these three animals? Three animals. Okay, let's compare them. Um, let's compare them. The uh, horse. Let's compare them with the adjective fast. Fast. We're going to use the adjective the fast. Yeah. The elephant is the biggest. So we say. In the zoo. Mm -hmm. So we say a dog. We're going to say a dog is faster. Faster. Than an elephant. Mm. Elephant. So an elephant. So faster will be the comparative adjective. Okay. And we use the word than when we are comparing two things. So if if we have a dog, remember we're comparing a dog horse and elephant as a matter of fact i have um i have that over here let me see if i can if i can share it with you i have this one just a second i don't know if you can see that Okay, one second. Okay. I don't have that one over here. Sorry. Okay, so I don't have the pictures. I'm sorry, I do apologize. I thought that I have them, but I have the rest of the pictures. So if we have, um, I'm going to write uh, down a dog, a horse, an elephant. And I want to say that uh, uh, I, which one is, is uh, faster uh, between the dog and the elephant? So if I'm comparing two animals, I will say that a dog is faster than an elephant. And uh, do you agree with me, Christian Munoz? Yes? A dog is uh, faster than an elephant. So that will be the comparing, comparing two animals against each other. So dog is faster than an elephant. We use the word faster and the word than to compare two things. Are we okay with that? It's just an example. Then I'm going to give you a, a better explanation about what we're doing. Now, now, now let's compare. Um, now let's compare the horse with the other two animals. Now we're going to compare the horse against the other animals. Okay. So let's see how this one comes up. See, this is going to be the difference. Now, how can we say that? We say the horse, the horse is the fastest Yeah, a horde is the fastest animal. Yes, the horde is the fastest animal 
of the three animals. Yes. Of the three animals. Okay, so what words do we use when we are uh, using the superlative adjective? If you can notice over here, we use the, the article the, and we have added EST to the word, to the adjective fast. So the horse is, horse is the fastest animal of the three animals. So we're comparing one against the other two. And the comparative is comparing one against the other one. In the case of a dog against the elephant. In this case, we're comparing the horse against the dog and the elephant together. Do you see the difference? One is to compare one against the other, and the other in superlative is it's to compare one against the rest of it. Can we see that? So fastest. Yes. Yeah, go ahead. So fastest is a superlative. A superlative compares like a, one thing to all the others in the same group. I have to be in the same group. In this case, we're comparing the horse to the other animals in the group, which are the dog and the elephant. You can see over here that we have a dog and elephant. Now, we're going to learn if, if there's no questions about this. Once you understand that superlative is to compare one against the other one in the same group and comparative is to compare one against the other one, now we, can, we need to learn how to make a comparative and superlatives. If there's no question, okay? So the first thing is to know when I'm gonna be using the superlative and when I'm gonna be using the comparative. Comparative is when I want to compare one thing against the other one. And superlative is when I want to compare one thing against the, the other two or three things of the same group. And we use the word than, more than, or faster than, the word than, when I'm comparing two things. And I use the the, the article that when I'm comparing one against the rest of the, the, the group members. Is that clear or it's not uh, clear? Yes? Okay. For yes. me, it's clear. Okay, very clear. good. Okay, very good. Okay, so now we're gonna, we're gonna learn how to make, now we need to learn how to make a comparative and superlative. Okay, and uh, we're gonna start with the first rule. Okay. Okay. When, we're gonna say that when an adjective, uh, adjective has one, one, one syllable, such as, um, Past or young. Let's, we're going to take a look at the uh, adjective that's uh, R of one syllable. One syllable is when you have one uh, vowel plus a consonant. Okay, in the case of uh, um, fast, it has a vowel A and the rest of them are consonant. In the, uh, in the case of young, Young, the rule is that uh, U is, uh, is mute, and it, this one sounds like a long O, young, okay? So this is basically one vowel, young. Okay, so one syllable such as fast and young, we put ER. So how do we form it? We put ER. At uh, the end of the adjective. Okay, so basically, it's it's straightforward. 
the rule is straightforward. When we have uh, an adjective that is one syllable, we, uh, we put like a fast or young, we put ER at the end of the adjective. Is that clear? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna be, in the case of fast, the rule says that I need to put just ER at the end. So I put fast ER, now it's a comparative, faster. In the case of young, young, the rule says that I only need to put ER at the end, so younger becomes younger. Straightforward, right? It's not, it's not too difficult. So the dog, this is the example that we did before. The dog is faster, sorry, faster in the word than. Don't forget to put the word than in it. The dog is faster than an elephant. Okay, so the dog is faster than an elephant. What if I want to compare ages, age between the dog and the elephant? Um, maybe the, the, ele the dog is two years old and the elephant is uh, one year old. How can I say that? Using the young. The elephant is younger the, than elephant, the dog. Yes, elephant is elephant? yes, is younger. Younger. Remember, younger, elephant? younger Done. than the dog. Yes, very good. Yes. So the elephant is younger than the dog. Very good, Yolanda. Okay. That is the rule for to make a comparative uh, of uh, adjectives that uh, have only one syllable. Then we're gonna see other rules that apply to one syllable as well, where you double the, the, the last consonant uh, and they have to be a pattern. So now we know how to do the, the, the uh, comparative. Now we're gonna learn how to do the uh, superlative. Now to make uh, a superlative, we add uh, EST. Remember we add EST to the end of the adjective. Okay, to make a superlative. So, so fast becomes fast, fastest, fastest. Fast becomes fastest. Young becomes what? Youngest. Youngest, yes, become youngest. Thank you. Youngest. So young becomes youngest. Mm -hmm. So let's let's put up over here this uh, comment. It is important to it's important to have the article. The, sorry, the article, the, before the superlative. This is before. Okay, so it is important, it is important to have the article, the, before the superlative. The other one was after, after the, the, the the adjective, ER after the adjective. So, uh, the 
force is fastest. Is that correct, uh, Monica Mungia? The horse is fastest. Is that uh, correct, Monica Mungia? Mm, no. No, why not? I, I don't put fastest. It's no, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. okay. Very good. Okay, I did a good job. No, well, I, I, hmm? no yeah, I, I. Huh? Okay. Get, uh, I thought that we need to, you know, eliminate the late, the first T. Okay. Okay. But never. But it's okay. It's okay. Okay. What do you think, Oscar? It is okay like that? No, there is a mistake. We have to put the word da before fast. Yes, yes. We have to put the, the article da before the superlative. So the horse is the fastest. Remember, in this case, we are comparing the horse against the other two animals, which is the dog and the elephant. So in order for us to be able to say that it's the, that means that it's the only one. There's no more. That's the reason why when you say the king, yeah, there's no other king. There's only one king. So in this case, it's only one that is the fastest of, of all the three. So the horse is the fastest. Yes. Remember, don't forget the article D when you're making the superlative sentences okay okay so um this is another rule we're gonna learn the other rule is when when an objective at the objective now this is the second rule when an objective is is one syllable it's one syllable but this is the difference, but, but ends in an E, ends in an E, such as, uh, as nice, see nice ends in an E, such as nice. Or we have another one too. Or strange. Nice or strange. Okay. Second. Then we just um, just add add. R at the end. See, because if we add ER, then we, we have two E's. So in the case that's uh, nice, if we add the uh, ER, then we can we become uh, nicer, ni nicer or nicer, something like that. I don't know what the word is, that. but uh, so. That's the reason why we only add uh, the R and becomes nice. So remember that uh, that's a, a, a rule that we need to learn it. We just add uh, an R to the end of the adjective. So nice. So nice becomes what? nicer right and strange becomes what stranger yeah stranger it's uh, is very straightforward right 
once you know the rule, it's straightforward. All you have to do is add the art at the end. Otherwise, you're going to be adding the E art, and that's not correct. Yeah. So mm -hmm. for the uh, mm -hmm. for the superlative for the superlative, just add what st right? Just add st. So nice becomes what uh, Karina. Nicest. Nicest, thank you. Nicest, yes. Nicest. And uh, and strange. Strange becomes what? Uh, Karina Strangest. Marisol? Strangest. Strangest. Yeah, okay. Strangest. See, notice that uh, we, we are only adding the ST because the E is already there. So be careful, even though it looks uh, very easy or, or uh, easy to make, um, it also is, uh, it is easy to make mistakes. Okay, so strangest, very good. So that is uh, our second rule. Now let's take a look at uh, these three monsters. The monster, remember the monster that we have um, let's see, let me show you the monsters. Now we can show the monsters, yes. Okay, now let's take a look uh, at these uh, monsters. We have uh, three monsters. Uh, what are the names of the monsters? We have Dean, Harry, and Frank. Can you see them? Can you see them? No, not yet? Okay. No, yet. Okay, I'm sorry. But not right. Yes. Now, let us see. Now, now you can take a look. Yes. At that. Okay, yes. very good. Okay, so we have Dean, Harry, and Frank. Frank. We have three, three monsters. We're going to compare the three of them. And um, I want, uh, um, I want uh, one of you guys, a volunteer, that can compare Harry to Frank. Harry to Frank with, uh, and I want, to, I want you to use the, the um, adjective nice. With the adjective. Yes, nice. Nice. I, I want you to compare Harry with Frank. Mm. So, so when, when I say Harry to Frank, how many things are you comparing? Two. Two. So two. When, when you compare two things, what do you use? Superlative or comparative? Comparative. comparative. Very good. Excellent. That's it. You passed the quiz. Okay. Now I want you to compare Harry to Frank. Harry is nicer than Frank. Yes. Harry is nicer than Frank. So we will have Harry. Harry is nicer than Frank. Very good. Than Frank. Okay. And now I want you to compare. Indeed. I'm sorry. Can, can I say like cozy? Cozier. Oh, cozier. I'm sorry, I didn't get it. Como acogedor? Nice. The word nice. No, yeah, yeah. But can I say another Adjective. Word? Adjective. An adjective. Uh -huh. Yes, you can use any adjective. Depends on how do you want to compare them. But you look at Frank, como 
Sin fines, no, for two or more syllables, you need to use more in comparative or the most in the superlative. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And we using the adjective nice. It's one syllable. Okay. Yes, one nice, one syllable. We're gonna later on. We're gonna take a look at uh, other the adjectives uh, that are that have uh, more than one syllable. Right now, we're working on one syllable and uh, uh, adjectives that ends with an e, and we're comparing this uh, three monster. Right now, we're comparing Harry uh, to Frank. Now you can use okay. any any adjective. You can you, you can say okay. Frank is smaller than Harry. Yes. Oh, Harry is uh, is uh, um, happier than uh, Frank. Yes. But I want you to use uh, than in the comparative. Now, if I want to use out of the three monsters, which one is uh, it looks like uh, more friendly? first one the first one dean dean, dean right dean. now i want you to tell me the dean using oh, always the all uh using the same uh, adjective nice he is the nicest he is the nicest okay yes mm -hmm. very good but out of uh out of but out of uh out, out of uh, the three Three monsters, yes. Out of the three monsters, yeah. I think, I think, right? Because somebody else can say, no, no, it's not the nice. <laughs> I think Dean, Dean is the, oh, Dean is nicest, nicest. Okay, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Can you see uh, my writing? Can you see it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Is, is this correct? Harry is no. nice, nicer but than than, is, than Frank. But out of the three monsters, I think nice Dean is nicest. The nicest is. It's the missing, nicest. The nicest. No. it's missing the word the right the yes the nicest the reason i'm making these mistakes the reason i am I'm, I'm making this yes the reason i am making these mistakes is for is for you to correct me to say hey teacher you're forgetting that because that is the word remember uh sometimes i'm i'm gonna left out um this word as well then yes Na, uh, harry is nicer frank okay what is missing then over here it's obvious right but when you're writing it, you, tendency is to forget those uh, uh, keywords so harry is nicer than frank but out of the three monsters i think dean is the nicest very good very good Okay. Gonna, uh, let's see. Um, of uh, of the three monsters, which is the strangest? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> huh? For me, mm -hmm. ¿Cómo es el de en medio? ¿Cómo se llama? The middle oh, one, Har me. Harry, Harry. We have Dean, me. Harry, and Frank. So, out for of the, me, Harry oh, is the mm -hmm. stranger. Strangest. Strangest. Mm -hmm. So, of the three the monsters, strangest. which is the strangest, uh, Yolanda? Uh, oh, you, oh, you Frank, 
Hoy Yolanda está en otro mundo. No. <ríe> oh my goodness. Le dije que estaba en otro mundo y había escribiendo. No. Okay. Yes, but the class. <laughs> okay, the strangest for you. Which one is the strangest of the three monsters, Yolanda? Uh, I think. I think, yes. Frank is the strangest. Okay. Okay. Frank is the strangest. Yeah. All right. Uh, personally, I thought it was Harry. The strangest one because he he has a yellow nose. Uh, um, it's brown. Good. <laughs> you didn't get me. In the mouth, but you like... have a purple monster teacher. <laughs> <laughs> teacher, I say that and you didn't hear me. I did. I did hear you. Yes. 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 I did hear you. Yes. I said yes. Uh, Harry is the strangest. Yes. Very good. Good job. Okay. Now let's go back to the uh, the writing. Now let's let's go and learn another rule. Now we have two rules. We have the uh, one syllable. We just add the er at the end of the adjective or st at the end of the uh, adjective. And when the adjective ends in an e vowel e, we just add r when it's comparative. And when we are making superlative, we add st. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Very good. Now, yes, let's see. Let's uh, make another rule over here. Okay. We're gonna say when the adjective has one syllable and ends in a consonant consonant vowel consonant this is consonant vowel consonant that's gonna be the pattern, okay? Consonant, vowel, consonant. Such as, uh, such as uh, big, big and hot. We're gonna do two words, and hot. We double the last consonant We double the last consonant and add what, uh, Yolanda? Consonant. Uh, I don't know. So we double with the only difference over here that we're doing this than the one we explained it before is we are adding, we are doubling the last consonant. The rest is the same. So what do we said uh, to make a comparative? What do we do with, uh, we have one syllable um, objective. What do we add? We add ER. Yeah. Double last consonant plus E R. Very good, very good. Excellent. Uh, good job, good job. Yes. So we uh, double the last consonant and uh, add E R. Very good. Yes, that's what we do. Remember, it's the same. It's the same rule. It's just uh, we are just uh, doubling the last consonant, like in big. So we're gonna do the big and uh, for that and uh, for. For superlative, superlative, for example, um, we add what? E S T, yeah. So it's the same, basically, it's almost the same rule. It, we're just adding a double or a double consonant at the end of it. 
Okay, so for example, B becomes what? Bigger. Yes, how do you spell it? B I G G E R. B R. Yes, very good. The big becomes bigger. And uh, and uh, for the superlative? Big, the big, biggest. Biggest. Becomes bigger. Becomes biggest. Is that correct? Yes? Yes. No. Yeah. Biggest. Missing the G. G, very good. Very good. Yes. Okay, so big becomes the that at this moment uh, we, we're not comparing this one to anything, so it becomes biggest, unless we're comparing to something else. So biggest. Very good. Okay. So remember consonant vowel consonant is the pattern. Okay. Now let's let's look at the weather. We're gonna look at the weather. What is the weather? El tiempo, right? Tiempo. Yes. Clima. Yes. Let's 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 look at the weather now. Um, let's see. We have three days. See, we always comparing things, right? Against other and one against all. So we have three days. We have a Sunday. Monday and Tuesday. We have three days of vacation time. Okay, look at the weather on these three days. Okay, and uh, how uh, how can we compare these three days using the adjective hot? How can we compare them? Monday is hottest then Sunday. Monday, okay. So, so Monday. Monday, let's see. Okay. Let me change this. Uh, okay, let me change the, um, so you can see it. Monday, so we said Monday. Is hotter. Is hotter. Mm. What is the correct pronunciation? Hotter or hotter? Hotter, hotter would be like if you are in uh, in uh, in um, in Europe. Hotter. Hotter. Hotter is uh, if you are in North America. Hotter. Yeah. So Monday is... Uh, so in this case, we don't use the word is because uh, remember, if we're saying that, uh, it, that it was the time, we already... That time is already passed. So we use uh, Monday was hotter. Mm -hmm. Then... Then, uh -huh. um, Sunday, Sunday, very oh. good, yes, uh huh. So, Monday was hotter than Sunday, yes. Now, let's do, but somebody else can help her. A Tuesday. But is the Tuesday, hottest. very good Tuesday, but Tuesday, remember, is the hottest. Pass, pass, pass. But Tuesday was the hottest. Yes, was, was, the, was the hottest. Yes, hottest. hottest. Yes, because already passed. How do we know? How do we know that? Because we already passed the time and we know that uh, it was hottest. So, Monday was hotter than Sunday, but Tuesday was the hottest. Hottest what? 
day. But if today, but if today is Tuesday, we can say, but Tuesday is the hottest day. No. Yes. Because no. we are, ah, okay. Yeah. It's possible to say, but Tuesday is the hottest day. Yes, of course, yes. But today is the hottest. Okay. Yeah, we can say, but today is the hottest day. Yeah. So Monday was hotter than Sunday, but Tuesday was the hottest day. Okay, so we are making comparative and superlative comparison over here. Are we okay with this one now? Okay, we're done with uh, single syllables. Now we're going to start with the, uh, these are easier ones. The double syllables are easier. But there are just some tricky rules with this uh, double uh, syllables uh, with, uh, that has more than one syllable. So let's do the first one. When an adjective has two or two syllables, we're going to put syllables, two syllables such as syllables comma, such as uh, happy or crazy or crazy. This has uh, two syllables, yeah? Hap and P, happy, crazy, yeah? Two syllables, happy and crazy. And it also, and it also, and and in uh, and in letter Y letter Y we're gonna put this in single quotes we this is what we're gonna do when the when the an adjective ends has uh, two syllables such a happy or crazy, and it, it, okay, and it also, um, the, the letter Y becomes to a, an I, mm -hmm. letter Y. We remove, comes to we remove, I. yes, we remove letter Y, we remove it, right? We remove letter Y and replace it. And we add I, E, R, yes. And we add I, E, R. So, so happy, happy becomes what? Happier. Happier, yes. Becomes happier, happier. Happier becomes happier. And uh, for the superlative, what do you think? Happiest. Yes. We also remove the, the Y, right? We also remove the Y and replace it and replace it. Oh, oh, uh, and replace it with, with what? Es que la Yeah, yes, yes, yes. 
Okay. Thank you. Okay, so, so we were saying that uh, happy is we add and it becomes in a superlative, happy becomes uh, so happy becomes what? Happiest. 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 Yes, happiest. And uh, in the case of crazy? Crazy. Yes, crazy becomes craziest. 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 Very good. Crazy. Okay, now let's see uh, an example. Example of three little kids. We have three little kids. We have Susan, Mary, and Mike. Remember, more than two syllables, right? And we, if the uh, if the adjective ends with an Y, we remove the Y and add uh, I-E-S-T to the superlative or I-E-R to the comparative, okay? Yeah, so here are three children. How can we compare them using the adjective uh, happy? Uh, Susan is happier, is happier than Mary. Okay. Susan is happier than Mary. Okay. So now let's use a superlative. So in this case, it's Susan. Um, let's use... Uh, Just a second. Susan is happier than Mary, right? Than Mary. Mm -hmm. But, but how the but how the three monsters teach you? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Mike is the happiest. <laughs> but, yes, Mike, yes, very good. But uh, Mike is the happiest. Happiest. Very good. Excellent. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So we just need uh, to uh, go one more rule, but we're going to do it tomorrow. I know you guys have to go to work. And, but um, if this is clear enough, remember we went over one syllable where you only add uh, er at the end. Then we go ahead, went ahead to do the superlative, comparing one against the the rest of it. When we add est at the end, and then uh, the other rule was when we have a, a consonant, vowel consonant. Uh, the other one was when we have a an adjective that ends with E, you only add the R to the adjective. And now that when we have two syllables um, and uh, an adjective ends with a Y, we remove the Y and add E, uh, I, E, R to the uh, super, uh, comparative and I, E, S, T to the uh, superlative adjective. Okay, so um, I'm gonna leave you with that and uh, I see you tomorrow. T tomorrow we're gonna do a practice on it and we're gonna have a Kahoot tomorrow and see how we are doing with the comparative and superlative okay until then thank you for the, being on time and thank for your participation in class i see you tomorrow okay have a good night all of you bye-bye thank you teacher thank you